Strongman Personal Finance. If you don't know who I am, my name is Christopher Bailey. I'm a certified CPA accountant, working in tax season, long hours, don't have time to make videos except in my car. Anyway, I'm a long-term boglehead investor. I'm author of the book, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. And I'm having a great freaking day, okay? Because nothing makes me happier than short-term fluctuations in the stocks that I have as a small part of my broadly diversified index ETF portfolio. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about Chinese stocks. China, my Aina. China, my Va. <laughs> anyway, the purpose of this video is to relentlessly mock a troll, a hater, a degenerate, and a loser who pumps penny stocks, who had the audacity to make a video about me a day or two ago. Now this clown, Brooklyn Stoink Shop, short bus Brooklyn, he made a video mocking me, saying I was a terrible human being because I had the audacity to advise people to put 95% of their portfolios into broadly diversified global index funds. Oh, like kind of like the VT ETF or VT Wax, which is the Vanguard mutual fund. That's the same thing, basically. He also mocked me because I bought Alibaba stock. Now, I've said my bullish thesis over and over again, and I could be right and I could be wrong. Only time will tell. But at the end of the day, it's 5% or less of my portfolio. Probably more, because it mooned today. And the rest of my portfolio is in, quote unquote, safe index funds. They're not safe in the short term. <laughs> but this guy had the audacity to do that. And he also called me a total freaking coward. Because apparently, I'm just this bitter, jealous loser that got so mad during the great bull run of 2020, watching everybody else apparently get rich. I, I didn't see that actually. I mean, I saw stocks go up insanely high and I saw a bunch of massively unprofitable, share diluting, small cap garbage stocks go up. And I saw a bunch of grifters on YouTube rise, you know, basically saying that any stock's gonna 10X. But I, I don't get why I would possibly be jealous when, as a matter of fact, 95% of my, well, 100% of my portfolio is in stocks. I mean, I have some savings. Because my stocks went up too during this whole freaking insane bull rally, okay? Why would I be jealous? Why would I be angry? I'm doing pretty freaking good, ladies and gentlemen. But this cloud still makes a video about me. And it's pretty funny because you know what he did? <laughs> <laughs> this freaking loser who dared to call me a coward freaking deleted his video about me that's right ladies and gentlemen this loser makes fun of me tells me that i'm a terrible person because i'm depriving people of gains 20 billion x gains for garbage penny stocks and i apparently told people they should buy alibaba and I lost people a lot of money, apparently. Hmm. Interesting. And of course, and it's such poetic justice, the very next day after he makes that video, guess what happens? <laughs> Alibaba goes up like, what was it, 25, 30%? I haven't even checked. <laughs> now, the funny thing is, this guy doesn't understand how to invest. Not in the slightest, okay? If you make fun of somebody because of short-term price fluctuations for a highly profitable, undervalued stock, yeah, it's in China, you're a moron, okay? When you invest in a stock, you're buying the future earnings of that company. 
And yes, I know China, you don't own the stock. You're buying the future earnings of that company. The short-term fluctuations of the stock price mean absolutely nothing. Now, what this clown thinks is you buy a stock and it's supposed to just go up. And if it doesn't just go up, then you're an idiot, apparently. That's not how it works, ladies and gentlemen. Stocks will fluctuate very rapidly in the short term. There is no better proof than what happened with Alibaba, okay? Now, Alibaba got freaking annihilated recently. It was down, 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 all the way to like, what, 75? And I looked at that and I was like, this is so stupid. This is like panic selling at the, to the highest extreme. And I bought more of it because I'm long-term bullish. And I didn't care that it went down because I'm not trying to make a quick buck off of these stocks. I'm trying to own a company that I believe is going to be much bigger and generating much more cash flows going into the future. But this clown doesn't seem to understand that, okay? So it's just poetic justice that this clown, who made fun of me because the stock went down. I was a moron, apparently. But when the stock goes up, oh my God, now I'm a freaking genius, okay? I predicted that, bro. I knew Alibaba was gonna go up 30% today. <laughs> I knew it, bro. I just read the charts, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you buy my course, I can show you how to read charts too. <laughs> but yeah, man, such a freaking pussy. Deleting his video, mocking me because he was proven, quote unquote, well, he was proven wrong. He's a moron. It's, it's hilarious, it's poetic justice. Now, another thing I'll explain to y'all. I have not made any good short-term calls, okay? Go look at my older videos. I made a bunch of videos making fun of Tesla. Tesla stock, the future pro, overvalued luxury car company. And I made a video, maybe a year and a half ago, where I said that Tesla was massively overvalued and it was gonna crash. And of course, what happened is Tesla went up massively because it's still a freaking bubble. Now, did I delete that video like a total bussy boy? No, I did not, okay? You wanna know why? I don't care. It doesn't prove that I'm wrong if Tesla goes up for the next two years, three years, however long that freaking bubble can last. That doesn't prove that I'm wrong. And I'm not gonna be such a bussy boy that I'm gonna delete my video because I was wrong on a short-term price fluctuation, okay? <laughs> it's ridiculous, I, I left it up and you can go watch it. I, I was making fun of Tesla and I still make fun of Tesla, okay? You gotta understand, I look at stocks based on fundamentals. That's it, I don't care about short-term fluctuations and neither should you. Baba's crash didn't matter. I mean, it was a good buying opportunity in my opinion. And the freaking moon rocket today doesn't freaking matter, okay? I know a lot of you are like, jumping with glee and joy that the stock went up but guys it could do the same freaking you know we could have the same freaking crashing scenario again it doesn't matter then you accumulate more as long as you're bullish on it all right but i just wanted to make this video making fun of this freaking loser loser <laughs> Woo! baba moves i called it i knew it bro buy my course <laughs> all right that's it you mad, Brooklyn? You mad, bro? You gonna IM me on Instagram again? You gonna tell me how much you love me and you wanna collab with me? Nah. Because <laughs> I'm gonna lend you on my channel. Anyway, that's it. Tschüss!